He is the TikTok dentist who went viral when he showed us the right amount of toothpaste to use. Check him out. Dr. Gazette joins us uh, on the show. Uh, welcome Hi, to the uh, show. Good to see you, man. Thank you so much for having me, Dr. Ian. All right, listen. <laughs> I heard your, your video went viral. I'm starting to get a complex. All you guys with these TikTok viral videos, I got to do something, man. What is going on? How many views for toothpaste? I think we're at about 8 million for that video in particular. Yeah, honestly, I think the reason why I'm so surprised by all the traction it got was because my, my main intention was just to, for my videos to act as educational tools. So sure. like the fact that, you know, so many people have, have viewed those videos and also, you know, found it useful really means a lot to me. People say, come on, I don't want to brush my teeth. But you say that people actually, a lot of people are brushing their teeth wrong. Like they don't know the right amount, the right way. So talk to us about how we should be brushing our teeth. Okay, so the, the most the most common mistake I, I, I often I, that most people do when they when they brush their teeth is they, they're so focused on just brushing their teeth, so they are they're neglecting cleaning their gums at all. So you know, always angle your 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 toothbrush at a forty five degree angle towards your gum line, and 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 brush gently. Use soft bristles. You know, people often use hard bristles because they're like, you know what, I'm just going to get rid of all the dirt. But you know, use soft bristles. You don't want to remove the enamel layer of your teeth. Um, you know, and when it comes to pressure, don't want to, you don't want to be overbrushing. Um, and, you know, electric toothbrushes help with that. Some electric toothbrushes actually have pressure sensors which light up um, when you use too much force. So these are little tips and tricks. It's a number of things um, uh, you, you can do to, to, to tweak the method of uh, brushing your teeth. But, you know. And you say brush in circles, right? Small circles, right? Small not, circles. Not yeah. up Small and down. Circle. No, small circles would, would, would do good because, yeah, and, and, and yeah, don't, don't, you don't have to go up and down because it creates too much force with that. So small circles, that's the uh, modified bass technique. That's something, you know, people can Google um, and that's the, considered the optimal and gold standard when it comes to brushing your teeth. You also say that despite the fact that people brush their teeth right before their, de their dental appointment, I'm guilty, okay? You say that <laughs> dentists can still tell um, if you haven't been flossing. Yes, we can tell because what people often not, don't realize is that the dentist, like we as dentists, we don't only look at the plaque on your teeth, but we actually look at the state of your gums to determine whether you've been cleaning regularly or cleaning efficiently. Because um, yes, you might be able to remove everything you want, your lunch, your dinner, your, you know, whatever you ate last night um, right before your appointment, but actually your gums will reflect how you're truly cleaning at home. Because if you're not cleaning well, your gums are going to be more red, more swollen, and more likely to bleed during those checkups. So these are things we are, that, that don't go away with a simple clean right before your appointment. And real fast before we go, how many times a day should we floss? At least once a day. Once, at and better once at night or in the morning? I would say whenever it's convenient, because the whole point of it is for it to be, for you have to have a sustainable habit. There's no point you flossing like twice a day, but you only do it like once a week. We want to make sure you find a good time in the middle of the day or, you know, right before you sleep, but make sure you do it at least once a day. We want it to be sustainable. Awesome. Well, Dr. Gao, thanks for all the great advice and uh, keep so making much. those TikTok videos, man. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. All right. Take for care. more from Dr. Gao, just go uh, to our website, thedoctorstv.com.